Hey, 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 hey. Merry Christmas Eve, Eve. Is that right, Roscoe? Where'd you go? Let's see. Let's go say hello to the people. Say hello to the people. Good boy. Good boy. Let's check out what we got going in the garden right now on December 23rd. Well, all right. This is the south bed. As you can see, it stays shaded most of the time. I'm growing pro propane tanks. <laughs> you can't hardly make it out because I got all that ground cover in there. And that's garlic. It's gotten way too high for this time of year. Oh well. Not much I can do about it. These are ready looking rutabaga, but we got roots in there, so happy chappy. And then the far side is our uh, vates. Collard greens. We'll be using that tomorrow for Christmas Eve. Every bit of it. Yep. And we'll be adding these giant red mustard greens to it. Still got a bit of a little bit of lettuce, I should say. A little bit of everything in here. These are the uh, Brussels sprouts. Just I don't know. I don't know, people. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see if they do their thing. And then some carrots tucked in there. Handful of Alaska peas over there, but we got more of those. Oh, well, it is Christmas, isn't it? Here we go. <laughs> Why not? I thought about bringing my extension cord out here, but uh, my shadow is going to hit frosty. Better than just being bare, you know? All right, let's look at the other one. Okay, so here is the east bed, which does not get a whole lot of sun this time of year. I think I'm just gonna start, just talking to Mark, and I think I'm just gonna start growing a uh, cover crop over here from now on. That big mess there, that's actually a giant red globe radish, and uh, didn't get much root to it, so let's let them go. But you can't eat those greens. This is lettuce, and as you can see, it, as you can see, it's stun it. That's because it's just not getting quite enough sunshine. There's another piece. And by comparison, those are Bates collard greens. And I'm not sure why they're so much smaller than the others. I can't remember when I planted them, but I think it was at the same time. So, no explanation. And these are early Alaska. And discovered in conversation with Mark, Robert, and John. We'll probably just have a basic pollination problem here. My peas are not in my pods. That was nasty. But, uh, yeah, I don't have any peas in the pods. So, hmm. Got me, boss, but it, obviously it's got something to do with pollination. And I'm in the middle of reconfiguring these paths. Get some weed control in here. It's just, uh, just be a lot easier to get through here with this setup. There's my squirrel dog. Well, you guys have a great Christmas. Um, if you grow anything outside, inside, however you're growing anything, drop a comment down there. I'll come check it out if you got a video on it. Oh, I do want to show you one more thing. Can you guess what that is? That's a belt for a textile machine pulling fabric. And once the fabric starts sticking, you can see white on the end looks like paint. That's actually fabric. Uh, that's heavy duty stuff right there. It's about 16 foot wide and I got 40 foot total of it. And what I'm gonna do, look far in the corner over there, there's an apple tree back in there. Plus a lot of brush. Just a big old junky mess back there. 
I'm going to mat every bit of that with that 16 foot wide textile belt. And the price was right. The price was free. Free? That's right, free. Those belts, they're expensive, man. Uh, when they wear out, there's not a back market for them, apparently. But this local textile company, they just set them out. Anybody wants them, takes them. And they're mostly uh, farmers and gardeners. And uh, supposedly they are the best weed mat you can get. Thank you.